What's poppin', it's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel, traders. Today, we are focusing on me, Matt L. He's been uploading a lot of shorts recently, but he uploaded a great video that I've been itching to watch. Itching to watch. Uploaded it two days ago. I'm addicted to pretty much every single Forex YouTuber out there now because of this channel. I've watched, I never used to watch their content, obviously, because... I didn't, I didn't really want to, I'm not going to lie. But now I'm watching pretty much every single video, every single Forex YouTube is uploading. I'm starting to enjoy it, and I'm starting to get my own perspective and opinion on this. So if you're only around here, subscribe, like the content, but without further ado... 12 months ago, I started this YouTube channel not knowing if I would ever dollars. make a dollar from it. Three months in, I got monetized, expecting to make a few cents a day, but I was wrong. We're gonna talk about how much YouTube pays me with 10,000 subscribers, why starting a YouTube channel was the best decision I ever made, and three tips for how you can start your own channel and completely transform your life. We're gonna get right down to the nitty gritty. I'm not going to make you wait. When it comes to how stress. much YouTube pays you, there's a few numbers that you need to know and keep in mind. The first is your CPM. That stands for cost, Per mil, how much you get paid for every 1,000 views. But unfortunately, the CPM that you see is not actually what you take home. Are you kidding me? That is your RPM, which is your revenue per mil, your revenue for each 1,000 views. And it is typically half of your CPM because YouTube takes a pretty chunky cut of. Yo. Great explanation, but also we're gonna find out how much probably he makes. Your total revenue. And my CPM is $22.14, which is bad. quite high and is one of the highest. That is, that is pretty high, man. Mine's at about two dollars so yeah you will see across the platform and that is because i am a finance channel whereas the cpm for other channels and other niches will be much lower because the people watching those videos don't have as much money to spend on the products and services that are being advertised so mr beast for example that gets a lot of younger viewers his cpm if i had to guess would probably be closer to five dollars than the twenty dollars that i am experiencing so first tip if you want to start a youtube channel the finance niche is pretty Pretty lucrative. So 22.14 for the CPM, the RPM, what I actually take home for every thousand views is $9.03, which might not sound like- Hold on a second, $9, $9.03. $9 now look, if we're gonna look into me, my old YouTube channel, $9.03, obviously, you know, this isn't facts, but about, it's just show his views. 846,000. Now, guys, if we had a calculator here, which is on the screen, bang, popped up. Wow, that was quick. $9. Views, 800. That is going to be massive. Let's just do this, ready? He's rich. He's rich. He's rich a lot maybe to some it does sound like a lot but as you get more views obviously that isn't it because obviously you know a thousand he makes ten dollars nine dollars per a thousand views as I've gotten more views, it does actually pay decently well. So now for the juicy part, the part that you came for. Since March, combining all of my views, over the last six months, I have averaged six hundred and twenty-six dollars and sixty. Ooh, look at that. So like, what he's basically saying is, anyone can do this. Anyone can start YouTube. Look at me. I'm doing reacts. People are watching reacts. Appreciate all of you guys. But on a level, like, anyone can do this. You just got to put yourself out there. If you feel worried, scared, anxious, anything like that, yo, fuck the haters. Fuck the noise. Don't worry what people think of you. In the end of the day, yo, people are only there when they see the results. The people that are there with you throughout, during the journey, they are the real ones, man. People only want to start investing their time, effort, everything like that, when a channel's popping off, when you're doing well, successful, earning money, but in the end of the day, they're fake. Three cents, which really it's is so a nice money. amount of money, and since launch, I have made just over $7,000, which isn't that great. It's good, I'm not complaining, but- Isn't that great? What do you mean, brother? It's 7,000 free bags. But if you were to think of it in terms of a full-time job, even a part-time job, and the amount of work that I have put into making over 200 videos at this point, the hourly... Come on, come on, let's be on the real, bro. If you had a job and they offered you 8K a year, 
to upload one video every other day and edit it you could probably do that in less than a day you get me like some like being self-employed the hardest thing is like making a channel starting a channel is consistency that's it you don't get paid so like you you work for free as sense and then you hope for success but you work for free i mean i reckon i could upload twice a day every day on multiple channels if i just grinded my job from serious hours but obviously there's more to it than just you know i've got to develop i got to do loads of things on the side of other businesses and stuff like that so i don't have free time but i i reckon i reckon yo if you're watching this and you want to start if you actually just record yourself put it into the video edit it just basic edits upload one every other day if you did that for a year you would be shocked your your, your channel would look better or the same as uh matt's so or maybe maybe not as good i don't know who knows you could even just excel and do insanely well so it's all it's all luck you create your own luck you know hard work makes luck you need luck to succeed you got to take risks Got work rate is probably less than a dollar. It's quite bad. But then again, I've never really had to leave my apartment in order to make these videos. So there's plenty of pros and cons. For those of you that might be new to the channel, I quit my job to trade Forex full time. And while that was going quite well, I was incredibly bored. And that is what led me to starting this channel. And I didn't expect to make any money from it. It was really just a hobby. It was something that I wanted to explore. But having that extra $600 a month coming into my bank account actually makes a massive difference in terms of no longer relying on a single source of income, which is a huge alleviator of stress, but it also goes to show the potential that YouTube has to offer. $600 a month, for a channel that only has roughly 10,000 subscribers as of this recording, I can only imagine how much larger YouTubers, especially in the finance space, are making. I know for a fact some large YouTubers actually share how much money they make, like Graham Stephan, and it's kind of just a disgusting amount of money. And so you can take that as motivation or you could get salty. I much prefer subscribe to my channel man i'm going i'm going to buy a supercar with this channel on my life here we go to take it as motivation so, yeah. even though this channel hasn't made me rich it is the best decision that i have ever made and that is because of the leverage that it has created for me i want to share a couple of tweets from naval ravikant who i'm a huge fan of hopefully many of you watching know him and in his famous tweet on how to get rich without getting lucky he speaks of leverage and accountability and building things under your own name as levers that will allow you to build wealth over time. Embrace accountability and take business risks under your own name. Society will reward you with responsibility, equity, and leverage. Fortunes require leverage. Business leverage comes from capital, people, and products with no marginal cost of replication, which is code and media. This channel is, of course, media. Lastly, if you can't code, write books and blogs, record videos and podcasts, Matt, 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 sorry, Matt, Matt's editing on his videos are just so much better now, you know, it's like a storyline, it's basically, he's done a lot of research into other YouTubers, his content's pretty sick, and that's exactly what I have been doing. The reason why he suggests you do this, and the reason that I'm doing this, is because of the leverage that it creates and allows you to have at your disposal. So, historically, the way that business would work is you would build a product or service, and then you would find an audience for it. Whereas now things are actually switching. What people are starting to realize is you want to build an audience and a community before you have a product or service. So if I ever have something that I want to build and sell, if I ever have a question or if I ever just need uh, a network of any kind, I now have a source at which I can immediately go to and leverage in order to get that answer or to find the product market fit or, or any Anything along those lines. The opportunities that have come to me from this channel have been incredible. So again, I can't even imagine what life is like for YouTubers that have a large space. And I wanted to make this video because I think it's gonna be much more relatable to somebody that has just started or is thinking about starting their own channel. Here we go, man. This is the channel. We haven't even got ads running on this channel yet, but watch my growth, subscribe than somebody that has hundreds of thousands or even millions of subscribers. They're in a world that is hard to fathom, whereas 
10,000 subscribers is very achievable for everybody watching. And so if you are somebody watching that is considering starting their own channel, I want you to know that you can be 90% of the competition by just staying consistent. I recently found a crazy stat that says that two thirds of all podcasts never record a third episode, which is surprising and isn't at the same time with the instant gratification world that we live in today. Everybody wants success overnight. Everybody wants that next dopamine hit, but in order to actually build something of substance and something that is substantial, it's going to take a ton of time. If you had told me that I would hit 10,000 subscribers within my first year, part of me would be very happy and another part of me would be disappointed. The disappointed part is that instant gratification. Yo, I mean 10,000 subs in 12 months is still insane. That's like 800 and something subs, 825 subs, something like that every single month. Obviously that didn't happen at the start and grown over like, you know, two, three, four, five, six months probably at an insane rate compared to the first six months however that's still really good growth part of me that ego that wants huge success overnight but I know it's a game of compound interest it's a game of iteration and YouTube success relies 100% on remaining relentless and continuing to upload on a regular basis before starting the channel I played and toyed with the idea for roughly six months because I knew that if I was going to commit to it it was going to be at least a two-year commitment so I really made sure that once I started I wasn't going to stop and I encourage you to do the same there's some advice that Ali Abdal often gives that really helped me when I was starting out my own channel. He says that the key secret ingredient to success on YouTube is just upload one to uploading videos a week. one to two videos a week. I'm doing that every day, and I'm still I haven't even got got a few thousand yet. For two years, and the videos help. I might as well quit help people in some way, they provide value, whether it's information or entertainment, as long as they help people in some way, you do it every single week for two years, he guarantees that your life will change. And I've already seen that change in my life after just one year, so it 100%- I will come and find you if I do holds true. I think it's good advice to keep in the back of your mind because if you view things as a two year minimum game plan, you're no longer gonna be so stressed about the next upload. Because if you're uploading once a week, that's over a hundred videos, one video, the next one, the one after that does not matter in the big picture. He's really adamant on reducing the friction that it requires to film a video. Most people make up excuses. Oh, I don't have the right camera. I don't have the right gear. It's not the right time to start. But I want you to know that I got monetized, which is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. I have the 1,000 subs. I need free... I need about 2,500 more hours. We will get there, trust me. Using just my cell phone. I bought a $60 microphone and I just put up my cell phone on a bunch of books and I got monetized. So be very, very mindful of those demons and voices in your head that are saying it's not the right time because the friction that you think is in front of you is mostly and likely just man-made It's in your head. So those are the larger picture macro lessons that I have learned learned since starting the yeah, channel yeah, since 10,000 subs looks so nice look at I need I'm gonna start uploading on my main channel again and just literally copy Will's effects Matt's look, all these thumbnails these ones look how easy it is take a photo bit of nice bowl right and center back photo in front bang that is that's the meta bro that's the meta I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna prove to everyone with the main channel come back which I haven't uploaded in a month okay if I upload one video every two, three days on the main channel, I'll edit it myself as well. All my own work, thumbnails, editing, creating, and we'll see how much we can get it up. If you guys want me to do that, then I will do it. Trust. Making $7,000 on YouTube. I want to spitfire three tips that I recommend you keep in mind if you do want to start your own channel. The first is that your first 50 videos are going to suck and that is totally fine. It's actually a good thing. You get better through repetition, not lying in bed staring up at the ceiling thinking about how you can make one perfect YouTube video. It's not going to happen. It's through repetition, failing, learning new things that you're actually going to get better 
And if you keep this in mind, it takes away a lot of the pressure. After talking with a few people that have thought about starting their own channel, one of the main sources of friction is thinking what their friends and family are going to think. And I have news for you. I have zero friends. You. Nobody actually cares. Nobody thinks about you as much as you think of yourself. Your friends and family, hopefully if they're encouraging and kind people, will say good job, keep it up. If there's some people that you know do judge you, they're gonna judge you for 30 seconds and then they're going to go on with their life. 99.9% .9 of all people are super supportive, friendly, kind. It's 99% of comments that I've received have been super, super nice. And so do not let this idea that you're going to be judged stop you from starting your channel. Thirdly, the cringe test. How do you actually know if your videos are getting better? This is another idea from Ali Abdal. And it's simply, if you were to share your video with somebody or if somebody were to find your channel and watch one of your videos, do you find that video cringy? Are you not happy that somebody found it, that somebody's watching that video, or are you proud of that video? If you pass the cringe test and you don't find it cringy and it's a solid video that you are proud of, that is when you know that you are getting better at YouTube, you're getting better at filmmaking, at producing videos, and it's a very easy internal way to measure your success that I so think good. is so something good. that everybody can achieve. It's hard to have these external goals of 100,000 subscribers, $10,000, all of these external metrics, but having a simple am I cringy or not is a pretty good way of looking at things. Over 60% of you watching are not subscribed, so please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be making videos on this channel, exploring different ways to make money online, and I'll be doing some fun little experiments myself. I'll see you in the next one. Play the long game. Thanks for watching. Peace. Yo, great little video from Meet Matt L. Link is in the description. Make sure to subscribe. So far, he's made around seven thousand dollars. Pretty decent channel, to be fair. The the first like ten twenty k subscribers on YouTube are like the hardest. After that, you literally are laughing. So he's only gonna start making loads more money as he gets more consistent and uploads and just gets more views. Yeah. So yeah, great video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. There's like ninety nine point nine percent of you that aren't subscribed that watch. So thank you for you know watching. Subscribe, like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.